Little May was not depressed. On the contrary, her enthusiasm for life rose strangely. Little May has reduced her living expenses and saved everything she could, but increased the investment on Teddy. Never let my child suffer from poverty like me. In college, Little May's major was preschool education. From a professional point of view, her current career and preschool education obviously don't match. Why does that matter? How can there be so many matchings in life? Her enthusiasm for training and educating Teddy came up anyway. Swift, weird, and paranoid. She is a mother. Little May gave the Teddy a beauty treatment, except for the top of its head. The Teddy's body hair was shaved off. Little May made a bow tie for the Teddy by herself and put it on the Teddy's neck. Now the Teddy is almost a little gentleman. The appearance of a gentleman is not enough. Little May must train it from habits and behaviors. She taught it to shake hands. Gasol and bow. She must have her teddy be polite. Too motivated, Little May bought the best French foods: unsalted sausages, beef jerky, chicken nuggets, and lamb strips, as well as calcium, vitamins, and hair additives. Little May spent seven or eight hours on the teddy every day, inserting, educating, and entertaining, and clearing, rewarding, and punishing. Little May repeatedly warned herself: the dog's ignorance, the mother's fault, the student's non-trait, the teacher's laziness. Never let my student suffer from ignorance like me. Little May enjoyed her passion. She changed her relationship with the teddy, and she confirmed one thing: the teddy and she are not dog and owner, but lonely son and widowed mother. Very sad, very tenacious, and very dignified. She was moved by this. Loneliness and poverty are like two wings, which take her to fly in a tragic atmosphere every day. No matter how comfortable the material life is. It can't be compared with the inner drama. Little May gave all her love to Daddy. From the final result, Little May's education effect was not great. The Teddy was very disappointing. His mind went further and further. No one knows when it started. His heart got entangled in a female dog whose name was unknown. That coquettish. No-name female dog left pee on the grass. She is a slut. Once the teddy goes downstairs, it pounces on the outside of the urine, sniffing carefully. After sniffing, it looked around. The grass was empty, and the teddy looked around blankly. His distant eyes were lonely and sad. The teddy distributed his business card, which is urine. And the result was extremely unsatisfactory. It has never had a chance to meet a coquettish, unknown slot. Its love has neither a beginning nor an end. It is just a watch without reason. Can't walk the dog at night. Little May reveals her short life. Everything about Little May is actually pretty good. What she is living is not the life she wants to live. To put it bluntly, it is not the life she does not want to live. In a word, Little May is living a life that she can live now. Are there any regrets? Yes, no one believes it. Little May has not been in a relationship yet, not even once. Little May remembered it. She seems to be in it. But is that considered a love? Little May is not sure. Little May's suspected love happened in the summer vacation of the third year of college. As a top student in the education department, Little May participated in the social practice organized by the school's youth league committee. The content of social practice is to run into Jingang Mountain. 
Little May remembered that she was climbing and walking every day, and her tired soul got out of her body. Little May suspected love happened on the last night. After four and a half hours of rushing march, the whole team was already crushed, and everyone was dizzy. They came to a large classroom. The large classroom was very dark. The floor was covered with grass, which was placed with mosaic-like straw mats. As soon as they entered the classroom, everyone put themselves on the straw mat. The leader of the team supported the door frame with his arm and solemnly pointed out that this is a required course, and we will sleep on the ground tonight. The motivation of the leading teacher is obviously unnecessary. Who cares where to sleep, as long as they could lay their bodies flat? Little May was already asleep almost at the same time she lay down. In Little May's memory, that was the deepest sleep she had ever experienced, exactly the same as death. This sleep, deadly sleep, lasted until dawn the next day. Little May woke up just after dawn. Her whole body hurt. She looked at the dim light outside of the window and couldn't remember where she was anymore. She lifted her head and was surprised to find that she was surrounded by people, disordered with men and women, like a house of corpses. Little May remembered it. Almost as soon as she remembered, Little May unexpectedly discovered that he was actually sleeping on top of her head, with his head to her head, almost another form of sharing a bed. He is very quiet. And still sleeping, God, oh God, he is really, how to put it, can only use the most popular language, the Prince Charming, in the mind of every female student. How could Little May have such good luck, and could sleep with him for a whole night? Even his sleeping face is so handsome, clean and gentle. Little May was laying on the straw mat. Looking closely at his slight, rhythmic breathing, Little May adjusted her breath, and slowly their breathing became synchronized. Slowly their breathing became out of sync. Little May's heart was suddenly frivolous, and she quietly pulled out a straw and poked it in his nose. Although she was frivolous, Little May knew it herself. She was not frivolous. And her behavior had the nature of a childhood sweetheart. His nose moved and finally woke up. He was shocked as soon as he opened his eyes. A girl's face was covering his face. He was dumbfounded. His stunned look was very cute. Little May opened her mouth wide and laughed, but breathless. He was stunned for a while and laughed, just as breathless. All this happened in the early morning, fresh, clean, quiet, and beautiful, spotless and silent. After laughing, he rolled over and continued to sleep. She didn't fall asleep. She curled up and suddenly cherished herself and other things. She also regretted it a little bit. If she hadn't fall asleep last night, it would be a whole nice experience. Sharing the same bed and being in peace, how nice! Girls are really unreasonable. When it was time to brush her teeth, Little May knew that she was in love. Don't mention how good the toothpaste tastes, like gum without tenderness, almost chewable. On the first Friday after school started, Little May started her pursuit, and he politely refused. The words were extremely gentle, but the meaning was extremely firm. This is impossible. Little May's love ended here. Two years later, Little May sent him an email. He was already in the city hall. She heard that his hairstyle had changed. Now it is thirty seventy. Little May was afraid that he would forget. Intentionally attached a picture of Huang Yangjie. 
she asked with extreme restraint, "Old classmate, did you forget me?" In fact, little May didn't mean anything else. It was nothing more than retelling the past. She just cherishes. He replied to little May in this way, with a gentle and clean tone, "I did not forget. You are a good comrade." Little May immediately deleted this email forever. Thinking about it, she turned off the computer. Rethinking, she unplugged the power.